Hi everyone, my name is Ellen and this is a tarot reading for Taurus for June. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, please leave like, comment and subscribe. So, uh, let's begin. So first, um, deck we're gonna use the tarot white card. Uh, deck, sorry. Three cards from here. Let's see what energies can surround you in June. Oh, uh, two of pentacles. Uh, two of pentacles, it's uh, balance, um, balance in life, balance in everything, uh, balance um, with money. So you have money, but you need to budget a bit, maybe. Um, or balance in some situation, maybe you you won't gonna be not sure, so you will need to find a way for, um, to balance it out. So it's also so balance basically in everything, um, health, money. So um, uh, here is the card saying find balance in your life in all aspects. Of so let's see what else. Knight of Pentacles. Um, this card saying to us that um, it's not time to take any risks. Um, so you need to think your strategic tragedy carefully especially uh, money wise because um, there will be a growth but not not soon because this um, well both cards are quite slow so um, here we you need uh, patience so uh, for that you need to find the balance so patiently wait or um, get your get your reward or get where you want to be and this card saying that it could be also a person in your life um, um, if this is this person it's quite a stable person but not very emotional not very romantical so but other than that is also means uh, your new project maybe your new ideas uh, that you already start to make uh, your way forward but like I said they are moving quite slow need a bit of patience which uh, the first card telling us exactly the same and one more oh the hierophant um, first high high rank card and this card um, card of um, knowledge and knowledge stability and um, everything that traditional uh, so it's card of traditions um, quite conservative card so this is could be you might decide to go and and study uh, you might you might get married um, so anything traditional so let's see what else and next deck I'm gonna use new deck Dark Mansion Tarot, beautiful cards, if you see they are golden, well, uh, let's see what's, they are so, so slippery, so alive, right, oh, we have Queen of Wands, 
a queen of wands, it could be a woman in your life. Um, uh, could be somebody you know, could be your colleague, your friend, or somebody you meet. So we'll see. What else? Oh, Seven of Pentacles. Look at this card. Beautiful. So, like I said um, before, because this card is quite is quite slow, uh, but you already started to generate your ideas. So this card saying to us, yes, you definitely will achieve what you want. You will achieve um, uh, money wise uh, what you what you was hoping for. But you will might need to wait. You need to at the moment. You need to. Keep working, keep working, and your reward will follow. Um, it's like uh, it's like you plant any any anything, plant a tree, and so you need to you need to plant it first, and then you will get your your fruits. So this card saying as the same, you will definitely get your reward, just not yet. Uh, maybe a bit closer to autumn times, maybe August, September. So that's why uh, previous cards told us um, <clears throat> uh, to keep working, uh, keep your, your money balanced well, uh, keep working on your ideas. This card saying, don't risk it, so go traditional way, what you don't, uh, don't move away, f don't move from your, uh, from, from your track, from your direction. And then, if you follow this, you will get here, you will get your reward. Well, one more card from here, let's see. Oh, three of swords. Beautiful card <laughs> in this deck. <clears throat> uh, three of Swords saying to us that uh, possibly some um, unexpected, um, maybe sad news or shocking news or stress situation or some um, disagreement or conflict. Um, with somebody close to you, maybe your colleagues, maybe your family, maybe your relatives, and people might get, it might be, this card usually goes even painfully, um, you will feel that pain, you, you might feel sad, you might be angry, you might be upset about it, it really will touch you, and, um, uh, or generally, health-wise, it could be heart problems, heart-related uh, issues, or somebody might need to go for the heart uh, operation. But um, what you need to remember is this card is passing quite quickly. Yes, that might be painful. Yes, you, you will feel it. Um, but... It will pass quickly and you know that you need to move on from it um, and take it as a lesson in life, let's say. So we take as a lesson and, and move on from it. You're not, um, you shouldn't stay for too long in, in this, um, in this uh, I don't know, emotional state. Okay, so next deck we're gonna use the Witch's Tarot. See what uh, they want to say to us. Oh, Ace of, Ace of Cups. Great. 
great, especially after, um, especially after three of swords, great, uh, ace of cups, and look at this, this card just saying, beautiful, you, how can you expect anything, anything, this is over, overwhelming happiness, I would say, this is a new chance, this is a new beginning, uh, this the universe give you uh, maybe maybe you found love um, this is card of fulfillment you will feel mm, overwhelmed with emotions uh, if you are dealing with art uh, this is uh, also great you uh, great for ins inspiration so anything new, anything especially in a relationship, this is a great card. So interesting. We'll see what else. Yes, yeah, six of swords. Um now is making a bit more sense. Uh, so I would say uh after this sad period in your life like I said, try to make it uh, fast uh, you will have this uh, new chance new beginning and you will take it because six of swords it's card of um, uh, change direction mm, uh, going away from the uh, bad thoughts going away from the crisis um so is moving or moving forward um this person leaves all behind and moves to the new shores so this uh, card definitely this card also might actually say um to us uh moving like actually you might move house, you might move even country. Uh, yeah, you might uh, change places where you live. Or any kind of um, travel. So, one more card from this deck. Oh, strength. Great. Uh, it's high rank card and look at this you will overcome everything you have you have a new uh, inner strength you will if you have any worries any disappointment in, in, in your life at this period of time you will definitely overcome it uh, don't doubt yourself you for sure you have it in you you are stronger than you you think. If you look at this card, look the woman the woman um, adopted a lion. He's become her pet kitten. So that's how you gonna deal with any difficulties in your life. Great. So next uh, deck we're gonna use the light seer tarot. See what they tell us. Oh, nine, nine of Pentacles. That's a great card. Uh, <laughs> as you see here, a uh, woman already picking her rewards. If, if um, earlier we were just planting them and waiting for them, but here they already almost ready, almost ready. So this card will uh, saying to us, you're gonna be uh, happy with the results, um, with your achievements, whatever you um, put into input into anything, uh, and you're gonna be very proud and happy of yourself. Uh, first of all, because. This is your your achievement, your own. Uh, nobody's helping you. You you done it all on your own. 
all your hard work paid off and it's time to enjoy it. We have very interesting months ahead. It would be great to hear back, uh, back from you how, how it all worked out. And again, strength. Look at this card. This is um, two cards repeats, uh, repeat themselves. So, and they, it's high rank, so it's, they're saying to us, um, yes, definitely pay attention to, to it, to your inner strength. Here, if on this card, woman stroking lion as a, as a cat, here, woman become half a lion. If you have a look at this card, she become one. So she is fearless and nothing will stop her on her on her way. Great Taurus, that's how you should act. You should believe in yourself, believe that you're strong enough for everything you you can overcome anything that life throws at you and all of us. Life doesn't throw to us something that we cannot handle. Remember that. So, wherever life putting you down, and this is for everybody, then remember you have this strength inside. It's like you have you have this core. This core that holds you. Uh, always remember that. That this core wouldn't let you go on your knees down. Always stay stay up. You will you will overcome anything. Anything is possible. And here is six uh, six of pentacles. Uh, six of pentacles. This is card of uh, giving. As uh, well, kind of balance cut off with balance as well but in a different way here this card saying mm, what you what you give that's what you're gonna get back that's what you receive back uh, this card saying also it's um, maybe a good idea to uh, do some charity work uh, and it's not necessarily have to be um, money wise. You might just need uh, to help somebody. That also will be considered as a charity. So, but uh, it's like uh, a boomerang. What you give, that's what you're gonna get. Um, you've been generous. Somebody or universe will be generous with you. You're going to be, mm, I don't know, uh, a bit um, mean, that's what you're going to get back. That's uh, how this kind of works. So, very interesting reading, but like I said, the main thing from here is, I would say, from your reading, it's to... Keep an eye on your balance, uh, stay on the track, whatever you planning ahead. Don't let uh, worries uh, put you down. Uh, grab your chance and always remember that you are a strong person. So now we'll see what the angel, angels want to send us, what message. Oh, and we're having here a relationship. And just saying, pay attention to this relationship. Interesting. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God. And every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal or balance a relationship. Then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and loved within. 
So show your other re re relationship bloom and prosper. Great message. Yes. Focus on yourself first of all. You are the only one on this planet. So. And we'll see what the nature is trying to say to us. One card from here. Inner truth. Look at this card. Again, um, I would say this is oracle cards. So I would say cards saying to us, um, focus on yourself. Look inside you. What is important for you? Mm. Uh, what are you looking for in life? Focus on that. I think it's a great message. Is um, I think it's very interesting reading for you, Taurus. Uh, please uh, leave like if you liked it. Any comments and subscribe. And I see you next time. All the best. Bye.